Hi everyone. So today, as you can tell by the title, I found some mealy bugs on one of my plants. And I figured it would be a good opportunity to take some lemons and make some lemonade and show you guys how I will take care of some signs of mealy bugs. So let's dive right into this. So mealy bugs are a type of pest in the scale family, I believe. They are known for their cottony white appearance and they also exude this kind of cottony white substance as well. They are very fast breeders and they are mobile as well. So an important thing to do if you spot any kind of mealybugs or anything like that is to make sure you isolate that plant and any plants that may be around that specific plant so the infestation does not spread. I should really listen to my own advice because I do believe that the reason why I have mealybugs on this plant is due to a croton that I had a few months ago that actually got very infested with spider mites and mealybugs both. Um, <clears throat> and I did not catch it until it was too late and I just composted it because it was, it was terrible. And this string of pearls was actually in direct contact with some of that foliage. It was right beside it. Um, and I do believe that mealybugs spread onto this plant and have just kind of been hanging out here um, until I finally saw it and decided to treat it. So fortunately enough, there wasn't a huge infestation at hand on this plant. I got about five or six mealybugs off of this plant. And in order to do so, I actually just take a Q-tip or you know, a paper towel or something like that and I soak it in a peroxide mixture. I actually use vinegar and peroxide just because I'm out of straight peroxide. You can also use rubbing alcohol works well as well. That will kill the bug on contact and then you can just wipe it off. A q-tip does work best because they are, they are a pretty small pest and they are kind of hard to see and they hide in the darndest of places. So it's very important that if you have any mealybugs on any of your plants, that you are looking extremely closely underneath all of the different foliage, close to the base of the soil, around the stem and the foliage where it meets, and all the nooks and crannies, and any unfurling leaves as well. I've had mealybugs hide in leaves that aren't even unfurled yet. Um, so that makes mealybugs very difficult to treat because they do hide in the darndest of places and they are so difficult to see and to find. So as you can see, I just went around the plant with my uh, peroxide soaked paper towel and looked for any signs of mealybugs and whenever I found one, I simply just wiped that bug off. In addition, after I treated this plant and looked at everything very, very carefully and looked for any more mealy bugs, I also sprayed the heck out of this plant with a neem oil water solution, um, which will kill any mites or any other insects that may be on this plant. It will actually suffocate them. And it's also a good prophylactic treatment as well to prevent any other um, pests from getting onto this plant. Typically, whenever you start to get pests on a plant, it stresses the plant out and that can lead to further exposure to pests. So it's not really uncommon to have more than one pest on a plant if it is really infested. So keep that in mind. A good broad spectrum treatment will work great. So that is why I opt for neem oil. It also helps shine up the foliage as well. I do have a more in-depth video on neem oil if you would like to watch that. I will link it above. And I also made sure to really spray some of the soil as well, just in case any mealy bugs were hanging out in the soil and I did not see them, if they kind of blended in with any of the perlite that I had in my soil mixture here, um, that is important as well. Because these guys are mobile, you're going to want to check your drainage holes and around your pot as well. It's not just going to be on the foliage. Sometimes those um, mealy bugs can crawl around onto your pot as well. So I made sure I looked around the rim of my pot and underneath it, around the drainage hole and various areas like that because if you really have an infestation on your hand, it's not um, all that uncommon to have a lot of mealy bugs in different places. So moving forward after I treated this plant, I'm going to leave this in an area by itself and monitor it over the next coming weeks, um, two months even, to make sure that I got all of the mealybugs off of here. They are pretty fast reproducers, so 
if I start to see more mealybugs within a few weeks, I will know that obviously I did not take care of all of them and I'm going to have to go back into this plant and really take a deeper look and try to find any existing mealybugs and treat them in the same way. In addition, if you are someone that has a very large houseplant jungle, you probably already know about beneficial insects, but basically beneficial, beneficial insects are insects that you can introduce into your environment that will take care of houseplant pests. So similarly to how you would use a beneficial insect in a garden, you can bring that insect into your home and allow it to take care of any pest that may be on your plant. So things like ladybugs and mealybug destroyers and green lacewings are all going to be examples of beneficial insects that you can introduce into your home or environment that you have your house plants in that will not harm the plant, but will actually hunt down and be predatory to a large array usually of these pests that we find on our plants. I personally don't have any experience in the beneficial insect world, um, but I would definitely do your research on that and look into some of the different insects, especially if you have a larger jungle in your home and things like that and you don't really have the time or the <laughs> desire to go through it and really look at your plants closely and spend you know 30 minutes looking through a string of pearls pot treating all of the mealybugs on there it's much easier to just release some green lace wings into your environment and let them kind of um, you know work out their natural predator prey kind of chain of command that's happening so yeah everyone just to recap if you find mealybugs it's not a huge deal just make sure you isolate that plant and any plants that may be around that specific plant and use a peroxide or an alcohol solution um, dipped in a q-tip or even a paper towel and wipe those mealybugs off that you can see make sure you're looking in all the nooks and crannies because these guys hide and they are very difficult to spot um, you can see in one of the clips, actually, I had to lift up some of this foliage and look underneath um, where it's all draping down over the pot and there were a few hiding in there. So make sure you're really looking closely. And also you can use pro uh, prophylactic treatments such as neem oil and things like that to keep away pests and also to treat pests that may be on your plant as well. Specifically with mites, neem oil is very beneficial, but it does work for um, mealy bugs as well. And over the next coming weeks, just make sure you monitor that plant for any kind of resurgence in the pest that is on the plant. And after a few months, if you don't see any signs of pest, you are in the clear to then reintroduce that plant back near other plants and things like that. All right, everyone, let me know if you have any questions. I am on behalf of everyone, I apologize if you have found any mealybugs and you are here watching this video seeking treatment. <laughs> because mealybugs are terrible. They are so just, they're such a nuisance. They hide in the darndest of places. Please consider subscribing or liking this video if you enjoyed the content. I post new videos pretty much daily on um, just different houseplant things like that. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.